but in like the late 90s and there's a picture of me cindy claudia uh one other girl and veronica webb we're not yeah. together we're like oh you did that job oh we, they put us all together put you, wearing they... the same yes it's not so it became different in the late 90s and that's to your point about the instagram just things change with time yeah it doesn't make it it doesn't make it it just makes it different. You know, it it's, it's different. more saturated. Anything good, anything good is going to be hard to do. Like, mm -hmm. of course, everybody wants to do something like that, but you have to, you have to do it. It's not going to come looking for you. Is it hard? Is it hard work? People have a perception that you guys are not really like, you're just like kind of moving through, having fun. And, and, and look, when I would, this is how I found out about you because my mother, uh, very much creative person, artist. And we would always have these magazines around, right? So I would be thumbing through the magazines. And the one that I saw and I remember is the Revlon. I think I remember you before, but the right. Revlon. Oh, right. Okay. Is where I remember you from. And I say, who is that? I remember, <laughs> who is that? You know? And I would want to, you know, it, it, it got to the point, And I think this is what was going on. And the people behind the scenes, you, they get a lot of credit for it. It, it, it was as if. There were a group of these women. You guys became the it girls because even though you were working and doing the shoots, somehow they were positioning or editing these magazines so you could really follow your story. Right. Right. So go, I think oh, so. Oh, there's so and so. Oh, okay. Yeah, and now she's doing this, or then then she's doing that. You know, so I kind of knew of what you guys were up to. And they also like it. They like, we did go out together. A lot yeah. of us are very dear friends. As you can see that there's still pictures of us together now, when, in, a year ago before the, so of course, yeah. people are really friends and they do say, okay, this one gets along with that one. This one likes that one. This one, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. you asked me about the most fun job. I, I had some really, really fun jobs. And then I had some horrible jobs that were really hard. The work the work ethic is long and hard. We're always up at five, mm -hmm. right? Because that's, you have to do your hair and makeup and the light looks most beautiful at that time. So mm -hmm. I'd have a job and I'd get up at five every morning, do the hair and makeup and then do my pictures until a certain time of day, have a break and then do that. So is it, I'm jumping in the water, selling you a bathing suit, but it's March, you know? So I'm in the Hamptons jumping in the water. Those pictures of Christy, Turlington and I on the beach in in Montauk, we're in bathing suits and walking around with like a towel on, but it's not summer. <laughs> so if you think that's, e it's not easy to do. Yeah, it's sure. not, it's not easy to do, but it's what you, I spent a life of being uncomfortable. My husband's like, you can do anything. You can tolerate anything because I spent a life of being, you know, in a position or staying in a position. I remember I was doing this job with Albert Watson once and he's like, he goes, do you feel good? Does that feel good? I said, yeah, I feel really comfortable. He goes, and then it doesn't look beautiful. I said, wow. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you're sitting there slovenly, it's not, you know. I mean, you've worked, you've worked with some, some major, major, major people. I mean, yeah, I was lucky. You, 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 can you name some of the, just off the top of your head, name some of the people that you work with in terms of photographers um, I mean, I think I've worked with, I feel like I've worked with every, everyone. I mean, I worked with Peter Lindbergh. I work with uh, Herb Ritz, not enough, but I worked with Herb Ritz. Um, I worked with Patrick DeMarchelier a lot. I was Gilles Ben Simone a lot. Um, you know, I was very, very fortunate in my career with who? Antoine Verglas, you know, Sante Durazio. I worked with a lot of people. So I was lucky with my career, uh, with the people I worked with, really like Matthew Ralston, did the um, Revlon ads. Richard Avedon obviously did my first Vogue cover and my second. So it's amazing. <laughs>